Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Sunday, happy weekend. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's always appreciated. Um, if you're new to my channel or you're just passing by because you are somehow falling down the rabbit hole of all of the drama videos for all the crazy stuff that's going on in the beauty community right now, I just wanna say what's up, I'm Jordan, and I'm just appreciative to have you watching. We will get right into it because I know exactly what y'all are here for. Um, the title is not clickbait. I really wanna to talk to you guys very openly in this video um, about we're gonna go over many things. I have met certain like beauty gurus. If you are new to my channel, or even if you're like a more recent subscriber, um, I used to be a beauty channel when I started. Some of my first few videos were real embarrassing. They were me attempting to do makeup tutorials, showing like my makeup collection. I did some outfits of the day. So I started, when I started, I would definitely categorize myself as a beauty channel. And I did collaborations with certain people and met certain like beauty influencers who have now like risen to the top. I actually did a collab with Laura Lee about five years ago when I first started. I think we both had like 20 or 30,000 subscribers at the time maybe before she like blew up um, I've met Manny I've met multiple people when I used to actually go to events a lot when my son was um, smaller and I had a sitter for him um, and then kind of over time as you guys know I've transferred my channel into sharing my boss babe series my weight loss stuff vlogs so I'm not fully a beauty channel anymore but I do have some insight, if any of you like even care, um, about how much certain people are paid for sponsorships if you are interested. Obviously, I'm not gonna disclose to the dollar amount someone else's business, but I have no problem being upfront with you guys about what I get paid. Um, I know some people are very weird about sharing their pay, and I get it, like certain things you wanna keep private, and that's totally fine, that's your business, but if you watch my Boss Babe series, you know like I don't mind being very upfront about it. Liter I literally, in one of my last videos last month, showed you guys my AdSense account uh, because I was trying to explain how much you get paid per video view and I'm just I feel like I've always been like real open like that I don't know I'm I know it sounds corny but I'm truly so grateful that I'm able to support Christian doing this job and I know a lot of you guys want this job a lot of you want to be influencers or you're aspiring makeup artists or you wanna do YouTube full time and you're curious, you wanna know how much you're gonna get paid per video view or per sponsorship. When I was first starting out, I know it would be really nice if I had someone I could look up to who was willing to give me like dollar amounts, even like within a certain range, so I would know what I was in for and how hard I had to work to get a certain following size and certain video view average and all that stuff. So I just figured I would kind of, I know this sounds real corny, everyone's like, let me tell my truth. I don't really have like a truth. I don't have any of the, I'm not part of any of the drama or anything, but I made a tweet. Um, um, a few nights ago at this point, I don't know what day I'm putting up this video, and so many people jumped on it and retweeted it, and I was just basically saying that I watched Marlena's video. She's obviously the CEO and owner of Makeup Geek. Um, if you go way back on my channel, I've talked about Makeup Geek Shadows many, many times. I think she is amazing. She's someone who was definitely an OG of YouTube when I started. It was her and Candy Johnson and just some of the very beginning people. She was one of the first people to actually create her own makeup brand and kill it. Her single shadows were like eight bucks and they're incredible quality, like I just love her. And it made me sad the other day to see a lot of hate that she got on her video because she said she doesn't work with influencers a lot because of the steep price that nowadays influencers are asking when they collaborate with brands. And if you are kind of blind to all of this and you're not really aware how much influencers get paid to promote products, it's time to open your eyes. There is so much money whether you like it or not whether you think paying someone that amount of money is insane it is what it is it's the society that we live in there's so much money in PR and in marketing and it is actually a very very smart business move for a company to reach out to an influencer pay them a set rate and have that person promote their product and then that person is able to drive a ton of sales and help grow the business that's actually a really smart PR and marketing move on both ends um, and you know I personally do not think there's anything wrong with sponsorships I you know, for me, I've worked for almost five years hard on my channel. Until this year, I did not have any employees. I did all of my editing, graphic design, filming, all of my Instagram graphics, everything responded to every comment left on every video. I've worked my ass off to get the following that I do have. So when a company reaches out and they want to work with me, I am so grateful, I am so like honored, and I'm proud of myself you know, for putting in the work for so many years to get to the point where a company would think that it's beneficial to work with me. So I have nothing against sponsorships. Um, I know in her video she mentioned Makeup Geek didn't work with a lot of influencers nowadays because some people were charging a rate of $60,000 to mention a product. 
A lot of you aren't gonna like this, but that is a very common rate for people with millions of subscribers. Everyone wants numbers, so here we go. Please give this video a like if you are appreciative of this info because I'm just gonna be very real with you. And even just giving the video a thumbs up, guys, really does help me, so thank you. So I currently have almost 440,000 subscribers. Um, I don't do too many sponsorships, maybe, I don't know, I think there's been months where I've done like three to four. Um, I work with Thread Up, I work with Thrive Market, I work with Poshmark, certain brands that I am 100% behind, that I love their product, I love, I feel like I'm sweating. Guys, I'm getting. <laughs> getting real heated. Um, I Any sponsorship I've ever done, I can stand behind 100% because I love the products and I'm able to let you guys know about an awesome company and connect you to the brand and like it's been awesome. I, I've never said yes to a sponsorship that I didn't believe in so I'm like I'm proud of that you know. Um, and I'm not saying all influencers when they work with companies it's only for the money and they don't even believe in the product. Don't twist my words. I'm not saying that but for my channel size the most I've ever been paid for a sponsorship was $7,000. And again, I don't want you to get that twisted. I am not paid every sponsorship that rate. That's actually very uncommon. Um, I would say the average rate for my channel right now is about $3,000. And that's for a full like two to three minute mention in a video. I personally do not do sit down dedicated sponsored videos anymore where I just come and sit down and the whole video is talking about that one product. Um, I find and I know that many other influencers find this as well because I've talked to a lot of people that that does not drive the most sales for the company because your audience thinks, you know, it's obvious that it's sponsored. You have to disclose it down in the bottom bar and your audience feels like you're getting paid a set chunk to talk about the product. So they're less inclined to maybe believe if your opinion on the product is genuine. Um, what I do now for my sponsorships is I include it in a vlog. I include like a minute or a two or three minute segment in the middle of like a 15 minute vlog. I find that that's more genuine. I drive many more sales that way. And I know a lot of other influencers feel the same way. Um, so for my current channel size, you know, I would say the average is right around three grand. It totally depends. I made seven grand off that one video a while back because I was paid a set fee of five grand. And then if I were able to drive over a certain amount of sales, I was able to get a bonus, um, which is also very common with influencers. Um, again, I know that number like 60 grand has been thrown out a lot lately. Um, I actually, uh, I don't want to say I have like inside info, but I am well aware of a YouTuber that I've talked to, to another person. I know this is all like back and forth. You know, I can't say like exact names. I'm trying to be as open with you guys as I can here, but someone, I think she has over 6 million, um, 6 million YouTube subscribers. And from what I've been told, I've been to a lot of events, you guys, like the first two, three years of YouTube. I know you guys see me out with Christian and stuff now, and I don't go to like too many anymore, but uh, I am told that her rate for a video is around $120,000 to $150,000 for even one YouTube video. Um, again, I know that's crazy. I put this in my tweet the other night that our Marines and our first responders um, only make like 50 to 60 grand a year, if that. So people, there was like a tweet where people were comparing those who serve our country to like beauty influencers and saying the fact that beauty influencers get paid more is absolutely ridiculous. I agree, that's fucking insane. Um, it's again, it's just the way of our world and our society right now. I think it's blowing a lot of people's minds. First of all, Marines, first responders, any job, firemen, all of that needs a pay raise. The fact that they're only making that much makes me infuriated and it's ridiculous. My boyfriend was a Marine for over 10 years and the benefits and the pay are shit. So that needs an increase along with minimum wage needs an increase and that's a whole other topic. But you know, there is crazy advertising dollars in marketing and in PR. And I think a lot of people aren't aware of that. And another thing is a lot of you guys who don't make YouTube videos for a living think that, um, you know, paying someone to promote a product is a new thing. It's not a new thing. This has been around for years and years and years, because if you weren't, if these companies weren't paying influencers to promote products, they'd be putting those advertising dollars into TV, into commercials, into ads online. Like this shit has been going around for years and years. Another influencer mentioned like Britney Spears and her Pepsi commercial. Like it's been happening, you know, it's not a new thing. Um, but I think people just hear certain dollar amounts and they're just like, that's fucking insane that someone can make that much money. And it is like, it's very, very crazy the amount of money that is in social media. And, excuse me, again, I'm one to think that I agree with what Marlena said in her video. If you work really, really hard, like I know with me before I had help editing, I would be up 
all night editing, trying to get out three videos a week, trying to parent my son full time, pay all the bills, pay my rent, do my graphic design, launch my social media courses. That shit was hard. Like no one can tell me that it wasn't. I know how many hours I was putting into the job by myself and still do. Social media is a job. It takes a lot out of you, especially if you are a creator who's engaged with their following like I am. I've always made it a point to respond to DMs and comments. That takes hours and hours and hours. So yes, we should be getting paid for that. But like Marlena said, I think there's a point that you charge too much or just an overblown crazy amount to where it starts to feel entitled. And that's where I don't like it. And that's where I think it's not okay. Um, so yeah, I mean, for my specific channel size, you know, charging two or three grand, if I'm able to then turn around and drive that company $10,000 of sales, that they obviously had an excellent return on investment. I feel good about the collaboration because I did my job. I was able to drive business and stand behind a product that I love. So I think that is when collaborations are really beneficial, but it does get out of hand when someone I think charges way too much and you know, the sense of entitlement comes. And Marlena did talk a lot in her video about people being social climbers and only being friends with certain people to make more money. And I think that's very true. I think the way the beauty community is right now is very sad. Um, when I first started, it was super, super small. Like I said, I did a collab with Laura uh, like five years ago. Uh, a lot of you are also asking me what I think of her apology video and it makes me sad to say this. I don't know, it, it's kind of like making me like, I don't know, emotional uh, because I feel for her. So. Here's the thing, please hear me out before commenting. I don't agree with any of her tweets. I think they're disgusting. I think racism at any level is not okay. I do not support her anymore. Um, but it does make me sad. It makes me very sad all the hate she's getting online right now. I know you're gonna be like, she's getting what she deserves, blah, 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 hear me out. My audience is very positive, right? I've been very blessed to have you guys who are fucking amazing. You leave the nicest comments. You support me, you support Christian but I do get hate comments every now and then. And you know what? I won't lie, they hurt. They attack your character, they attack your parenting, they attack the way that you look. People tell me I'm fat. That shit hurts, you know? At the core, it really hurts. And I started YouTube, it's gonna make me cry. I started YouTube, guys, because in high school, I had no friends. I was so overweight. Why is this making me cry? I was so overweight. I had no self-confidence. I had so much acne. I wouldn't put myself out there. I wouldn't have friends. Uh, I wouldn't go to pool parties because I thought I was so fat and I didn't deserve to go and people would make fun of me. And I started YouTube because in my first year of college, I had a roommate who was so mean to me and literally like ruined my life. And I started YouTube to be like, you know what? I'm gonna sit in my room by myself with just me and the camera. Why is this making me cry? Oh my God. Ugh. It's making me cry because this is not the YouTube we signed up for. Like I started making videos to make new friends and have an online following who could support me and people who I could connect back with and who I could love because I didn't have that in my real life. You know, YouTube was so small when I started. And just to see now the top influencers who we have, I'm just gonna say it, we need new top influencers. We need smaller creators to get recognition. There's so many amazing makeup artists and vloggers and people with excellent editing who are getting no recognition right now. Our top, top influencers are probably like the worst right now. They, everyone is acting like they're so catty, they're so jealous, you know, people are fighting. That's not the YouTube I signed up for. I know damn well that's not the YouTube a lot of my friends signed up for. Back, so back to the Laura thing. Um, yeah, obviously I don't support her anymore, like, you know, like the rest of the world, but I do think it's very sad. I can't imagine what she's feeling right now at home being attacked that much. The amount of hate I've got online is obviously very minimal to all of that and that it has still really, really hurt me at the core, I can admit. You know, certain comments I brush off, but certain things they really do get to me. So I can't imagine, like she said in her video, uh, by the way, Sorry, girl. That video was bullshit. Like, don't fabricate tears. If you're gonna say sorry for something, say sorry for it. Don't act like you retweeted something when you really tweeted it. Like, if you're gonna say sorry, then just say sorry. So, no, I don't support the apology video or believe it at all. Um, but, yeah, she said she had people calling her family and they're threatening to kill her family and, like, they would know her mom's address and to sleep with one eye open and all this stuff. That is not okay. So, yes, what she did was wrong. Yes, she should have handled her apology video much better. I don't support her. I know, like, the whole world doesn't support her. All her companies dropped her. None of her coupon codes work. Her income has gone like this. Um, 
but at the same time, I, I just can't imagine what she's feeling right now. Having everyone against you must feel just so horrible. And I used to feel like that a lot, you know, growing up, I never fit in. I never had many friends. It's, again, that's why I started YouTube to hopefully find a community that would support and love me. So I just, I, you know, her situation sucks. It's wrong. It's not okay what she did. And at the same time, all the hate on top of it, I don't even know how she's like coping right now. I'm not saying I feel bad for her or I'm on her side or anything, but it's very sad. Every single day I log on to YouTube and I see another drama video about her, another news outlet, another magazine, another website covering it, and they're all negative. Like, imagine waking up and having that much hate and bullying put on you. It, it's really gotta suck. So, um, oh yeah, I said I was gonna speak a little bit about people I've met in this video. I've obviously met Laura a few times. We did a collab a while back. It wasn't an in-person collab though. I think it was with me, her, Lizzie from What Would Lizzie Do? Kelly Jane? I don't know. It was like a bunch of us. It was a long time ago when I was like living like three apartments back. Um, I did meet Manny at an event once. I went to a Tarte event in LA. Um, I said hi to him, not as like, uh, I wasn't, he was already like blown up at that point. This was like about two years ago. Um, he didn't know who I was. I didn't try to approach it as like a fan, but I did go up and say, you know, I enjoyed his videos. Um, we were both invited to the event like as influencers. So I wasn't like a fangirl walking up, but we didn't know each other. I introduced myself. He was sweet, but he was short and to the point, And you could tell that his eyes were looking around at trying to scan like who was there and who should he be talking to? Like what was a smart PR move? Like who should he be standing with? He was very cautious of the friend group that he had. And he was around, uh, I think, I believe Patrick Starr. And I can't remember exactly who was there to be honest. This was, I want to say almost two years ago. Um, I didn't get the warmest, nicest vibes from him. Just putting it out there. I didn't really get horrible vibes at that event, like super mean catty stuff. But I can tell you, I have talked to multiple influencers, like three, two to three, actually over three people, uh, kind of like behind the scenes or like through text recently, once all this drama popped off, a lot of my friends have been to multiple, more beauty events than me. A few of my best friends are actually still beauty channels and they know a lot of these people. And I have heard very not good things about Manny. Um, again, I wouldn't like false gossip spread about me, so I can't say firsthand, um, but you guys have seen all the drama videos that have been out recently and I think I just want to say from my, I'm not a beauty channel anymore, so from my perspective, like looking in, it's very sad to see our top beauty influencers and people we should be looking up to acting so catty, acting so jealous, um, having all these friendships go sour, people just wanting to put money and fame and their collaboration above anything else. That is never what it should have been about. And yes, full transparency, we all have to make money. Like I said, it's a job. That's fine. That's fine to admit that. Um, but when it comes to a point where you're talking about a product that you don't believe in, oh, here's another thing. I have been approached by a few companies. I'm literally sweating, guys. The, uh, the tea is, is real in this video. I've been approached by a few companies where I have flat out said no to one company um, was the most I was ever offered in a sponsorship. It was uh, close to that $7,000 range. I think it was like right under six grand. Um, and I would have got affiliate commission on top of that. It was a teeth whitening company. I've only talked about one teeth whitening company on my channel in all these years and I really believed in it. But another one sent me their products. Didn't work for me. I literally saw no difference in my teeth. So I declined the money and I said I would not talk about it in a video because you guys were my priority and I mean that. Then I remember that same week, lo and behold, I saw two specific influencers talking about this product because the company was having like a sale or a promotion that month. That's why they wanted to reach out to influencers to promote the teeth whitening kit and promote that coupon at the time. And I just remember seeing their posts on Instagram with the little LED teeth light and thinking in my head, I mean, I don't know, let's be real. Maybe the product did work for them, but thinking, damn, this was an influencer I followed who I trusted and I've tried this product and I know it doesn't work or at least it didn't work for me. So if it also didn't work for them just to know that they were promoting it just to get the paycheck, it's sad, it, it really is. And again, that's the way of the world these days. People wanna make money. Um, again, I wanna make money too and that's okay, but I don't know, I truly believe what you put out into the world will come right back to you. I believe that wholeheartedly. If you're already one of my subscribers, I am so all about the law of attraction. It's been proven in my life, I've seen it work. If you're a good ass person and you give back and you're caring and you're genuine, that shit will come right back to you. But kinda like Jeffree Star said in one of his tweets, if you are truly negative at the core and all you desire is the fame and the money, even if you rise to the top real quick, you may hold on to that fame or that money for a second, but what you deserve and the way that you've treated people will come right back to bite you in the ass. 
that's just the way of the world. What you put out, you get back. It's proven. Even if it's not now, in a year, in five years, that shit will come right back to you. So I always find that it's better to have good intentions and a pure heart, especially with your community or your subscriber base. Again, I am not saying I'm perfect, you know? I've made a lot of uh, mistakes in my life, in my parenting, I am learning. I'm not saying, oh, I'm the most genuine YouTuber. I won't, I'll turn down everything. No, a bitch needs money too, you know? Uh, I'm trying to save up for a house, but I will be so much more glad to work with a company where I love their product. And there's been a lot of things over the years that I've turned down and that I've seen other influencers, you know, post about it when I firsthand have seen that the product ain't shit, you know? Um, Again, just my opinion, but uh, yeah, I don't know. This video is already hella long. I think I've been recording for like 30 minutes. I hope you guys kind of enjoyed hearing maybe someone else's perspective who is not all up in the beauty community. Since I do vlogs now and I do other things, um, me just like looking in. Again, I know it sounds like corny and everyone is saying it these days, but it's sad to see the... <laughs> Sorry, um, it's sad to see like the current status of YouTube and of the beauty community because a lot of us started this job when it wasn't even a job for us. It was just a passion years ago. We weren't even making any money. We literally just made videos because it was so, so fun and it was just amazing. And you know, just to see it turn into something where people truly only want the money and the fame. And I don't know, like it, it really is sad. I, I know that sounds very corny, but I don't know how else to word it. I wanna end this video on a positive note and let you guys know some of my favorite YouTubers who I love, who I trust to this day, who I know have turned down things that they don't believe in, who are fucking amazing. I have been watching Nicole Guerrero for years and years. A lot of y'all tell me that I remind you of her. I just take it as a compliment because I think she's a badass. Um, I love her so much. I do trust her product recommendations and when she does something that's sponsored, she just closes it. I love Candy Johnson. I've met her at two different Generation Beauties. She is amazing. I mentioned earlier Lizzie from What Would Lizzie Do? She's such a freaking sweetheart. Love her. Um, who else have I watched that I'm just like in love with? Uh, it's Judy, or Judy from It's Judy Time. I know you guys already love her. She's amazing. Um, Tati, I really like her. Um, uh, I forget this girl's name, but she's from It's Glam and Gore. She is beautiful, by the way. She's like, I've been watching a lot of her videos lately. She is like drop dead gorgeous. Um, there's so many people, but there is still a good side to YouTube. So I hope all the drama and everything right now doesn't dismantle you guys or turn you away from watching YouTube videos because a lot of us who still enjoy doing videos and we're passionate about it, we're still here. We want to make content for you guys. I appreciate you watching. Um, if you had never found my videos before today, I would love if you would subscribe. You know, I work hard on my channel and I work very hard on my videos. So here's a little plug for you. I do workout videos. I have a boss babe series where I teach you how to make a living on social media. And then I do vlogs with my son and my boyfriend. So I would be very appreciative to have you subscribe if you did enjoy this video. If you guys appreciated hearing how much I make and like sponsorship information, um, I would really appreciate a thumbs up as well. I hope you have an incredible weekend and I hope this could give you a little perspective from someone who was maybe, you know, started out in that beauty community but is now kind of looking on the inside. And I appreciate you sticking around if you did for this long because I know this was a long one. I hope you guys have a great week. Nothing but positivity and good vibes heading your way. Be sure to subscribe and I'm going to see you guys in the next one.